So I decided to do it. Today we have the finale of the Liverpool Master League Season 1. Now I'm not sure if there's going to be a Season 2, but today is the finale of Season 1. And we're playing against the old boys. Let's take a look at the lineup. We're going to go with that lineup. We've got Ayanacho, Stari, Jirigi, Mane, Roberto Firmino, Brozovic, Moreno, Saka, Matip, Klein, and Karius. Um, Aubameyang is uh, injured, so he won't be playing today. So let's see. I know you guys wanted Humphreys. I might as well bring Humphreys with me because he can come on and grow. Um, but I do, I do want to go full strength against these guys. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, just to have a last kick about with this team because I don't know if I'll play with them ever again. Um, so let's ta let's have a, a kick about and then after the game I'll run through the season stats and all of that. So a beautiful night at Anfield to see off the old boys. It's going to be Liverpool versus the old boys. Now Totti is playing today and Casillas is retiring as well. So two big names tonight. And yeah, it's just going to be a fun game for the, for the fans and for the club to celebrate winning the Premier League. Uh, for the first time ever, which is a pretty big achievement. And yeah, it's just a nice kick about hopefully no one gets injured for six months. <laughs> and um, yeah, just to just so the boys can have a last kick about before they go on their summer break. So Anfield is looking wonderful. Let's see how we go against the old boys. Let's finish them off quickly as Origi does a nice little uh, dribble pass too. We play forward. Moreno's coming inside. We have a shot already and it's a big chance. Play down the play down the right. He's Ian Archo. He's going to put in a cross. It's opened up. Origi with a header, just over. Brozovic wins it. We play it again. They're trying to play it with Ian Archo. Has a shot. Ian Archo. What a save by Cesar. Quality keeper. It's a shame he's retiring. Plays it down the left. He's Coit. Across inside. Brozovic is there to cut it out. That's what we needed in the FA Cup final. And that's going to be half time. Nil all. The old boys are giving us a run for their money. Their last kick about before they retire. And they're doing all right. Totti plays it inside to Tony. Plays it to Coit. They could get a big chance. It's a big chance. And he couldn't get it on target. You know, if that would have went in, it could have been a different game for the old boys. Oh, we cut it out. The old boys, they're a bit, they're a bit selfish. They like to hold on to the ball. But we're just taking them off them because we've got enough... Pace to, to always win the ball back. It's just a matter of scoring. Their defense is uh, pretty solid at the moment. Played inside to Firmino. Firmino's going to have a crack. Oh, top corner, Cesar with a big save. It was a good shot by Firmino. So here's Reyes down the left. Klein's just got him. We got him for pace, boys. Actually, no, we don't. Here's Reyes. He's beaten one. That's a big chance for him, and it's a goal for the old boys. Reyes, out of nowhere, scores a pretty good shot. So I was getting a bit cocky. I said that we had him for pace, but Klein just got muscled off the ball. And Reyes with some nice dribbling. Just because they're old doesn't mean they're crap. These guys have got a lot of quality. So I'm going to make two changes. Um, I'm going to bring in... We don't really have any options, to be honest. Mane, Mane for Coutinho. Firmino's been a bit absent. That's because he's uh, tired. And what I'm going to do is bring in one out of my think. Let's see how we go. Trying to give everyone a nice little last bash before the season ends. Nice ball. Down the left. Rigi. It's going to stop it. It's going to cross it. That's a good ball. Ooh. Comes out and gets it. But I see the opening. Play back. Is Wijnaldum trying to have a shot? He beats Totti. Wijnaldum with a finish. What a goal from Wijnaldum. A cracking goal. And it puts us back in the match. So it was a rocket of a shot. I saw the opportunity. Ayanacho did well to hold it. Played it back. And Wijnaldum, he just, he just came on like a minute ago. Scores a cracker. So I think we've got six subs and I've got four left. So Maquinhos will come on. Humphreys will come in. Just to give a few, last, uh, few players just the last bash. Um, I think uh, we left Lalana. We left Lalana in the reserves. I'm sorry, boys. Um, I don't know who else to bring in, to be honest. Maybe Milner. Milner's 31. We might as well give him a last chance at it. And Henderson. You know, Henderson is the captain in real life. We haven't really got him playing at the moment. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably take Ayanacho off. Keep Sturridge up top. Switch Henderson there. Well, now we'll go there. And that's it. That's going to be the last changes of the season. 
And it looks like Totti is going to come off on his last game. An icon of the game. Totti has come off for the last time. That's another crunching tackle, but we do get the ball. And I'm trying to play to continue, but Demichelis has read it well. 15 more minutes to find a winner. Play forward. Nice one too here. Sturridge is on the end of it here. And Sturridge should bury it. Sturridge should bury it. That's a good save by Caesar. Come on, Mil Come on, Moreno. You've got to do better than that. Jeez. Pizarro has taken the piss today. That's a good side tackle, to be honest. Play forward. Come on, if we don't score here. Look at that touch. Took him, took him absolutely nowhere. Here's Milner. Milner to have a crack off the post. A big chance for the 31-year-old. And now what they're doing is just clearing it up, trying to keep the draw. A draw against the Premier League champions isn't bad for him. Here's Henderson, actually. Henderson's gone himself. Henderson to pull the trigger. What a save. And we go to follow up, and Maquinhos, he saw, he saw the lights. And uh, he tried to hit the lights, to be honest. So three more minutes. Can we work something? I don't know if there's going to be enough time to really push up and get a goal. But you never know in Pez. That's a bad challenge. So two more minutes. We cut it out. It's going to fall. Maybe we'll get a last chance. Thiago's had a good game. Reyes. They play it up. It's going to be the old boys who gets the last kick of the game. Maybe we can switch it. No. Look at the, look at the strength on these players. They're still getting it. Here's Reyes. We can't clear it. And it could be a penalty. No, it's not. The referee says play on. And that's going to be it against the old boys. Casillas, who didn't even play, is celebrating. That's that's uh, you can tell the game needs a bit of a needs a bit of a rev review because Casillas didn't even play, so I don't know why he's celebrating. <laughs> and there's a Ronaldinho generic face there. Um, but yeah, one all against the old boys wasn't too bad. Pretty bad performance on our terms, considering we just won the Premier League. But the old boys have a lot of quality, and I think a draw is a nice thing for the neutrals. So let's take a look at our overall records for the squad. Carriers played 46 games. I don't know why they don't have any clean sheets. Um, that's a bit strange. Wait, is there clean sheets? No, they don't even do clean sheets. That's a bit rubbish. But he had a 5.8 overall. Matip, 38 games. All right, let's get to the ones that actually did something. Klein got four assists this season. Wasn't a bad player. Moreno, four assists. Solid fullbacks there. Um, Firmino got 12 goals, 4 assists. Didn't feel like that, but he did well. Brozovic got 1 goal this season, but I think he was fantastic at CDM. Mane got 17 goals, 6 assists. Origi, 12 goals, 13 assists. Sturridge, 30 goals, 21 assists. Sturridge was a fantastic player this season. Ayanacho, 6 goals, 7 assists. Wijnaldum, 2 goals, 4 assists. Henderson, just a 1 assist. Maquinhos didn't do anything. Coutinho got three three goals, five assists. Um, Gruwich did nothing. And uh, Monreal got one goal, one assist. Milner with one goal. And Ojo with two goals, one assist. Lalana with three goals, two assists. Aubameyang, another beast of a player. 19 goals, 12 assists. If it wasn't for Sturridge and Aubameyang, we wouldn't have done nothing in the Premier League. So when we take a look at the Europa League top goal scorers, it turns out Firmino had four goals, and that was the highest Liverpool player. And uh, yeah, that's a bit surprising. Sturridge got three goals, and that's it. So in terms of assists, we have uh, Firmino and Sturridge both with two, but they're ranked at number 23, I think. So now the Premier League goal rankings, we have Sturridge that came in second on 22 goals, Mane on 15. Uh, goals, he came in 8th, and Aubameyang as well in 8th on uh, 15 goals. And who else do we have? We've got Origi in 22nd spot with 10 goals. And Firmino in 30, 30th place on 8 goals. And that's it. So in terms of assists, Sturridge finishes top on 18 assists. Origi's there as well. Aubameyang is there as well. Ayanacho is there as well. So a lot of our players got a lot of assists. Even Mane, Moreno, Coutinho. Just goes to show that um, we didn't rely on one uh, player the whole time. You know what I'm trying to say? And let's take a look at the team of the tournament. Sturridge gets in there, Klein and Moreno. I think I showed that before. Let's see if FA Cup has a team of the tournament. It does. And Sturridge, Mane, and Moreno get in there. And uh, we did lose to Everton, so that's why there's a lot of Everton players in there as well. So that is the end of our season, guys. It's been a fantastic season. We did win the Premier League. We, we didn't win the Europa or the FA Cup. But I think overall, winning the Premier League was hard enough. 
And uh, considering sometimes the game was against me, I think we did pretty well. And we had a fantastic group of players come in, um, especially with the loans, and they transformed our team so much. And uh, the Gigan Press, when I turned that on, it worked wonders. I think what was lacking at the start of the season was finding the right tactics. Once we did that, the team started flowing and the team spirit became higher and higher. And everyone that I put on delivered. Um, Brozovic was fantastic. If we didn't sign Brozovic, it would have been hard to defend. Um, but Karius has been fantastic as well. The center backs were fantastic. So I'm pretty happy with the squad. Now, in terms of a season two, I'm going to be on holidays for a month until probably the middle of January. So there will be no uploads here, but I still got content coming for the main channel. So it's a good time to just take a break from Pez because I'm not really enjoying the gameplay anymore because of the data pack update. I feel like they've they've just changed it too much and I love the demo how it played, but, but now it just changed so much that it doesn't even feel like I'm playing Pez 17 anymore. And uh, so I'm going to take a break. So if I come back, maybe I'll do a season on FIFA. Let me know what you guys think. I think it, it's good to do a bit of both in terms of viewers and that because I can get a FIFA audience as well. But that's a bit hard as well because when you got one or the other, they're not going to watch the other game. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of both. That's why I'm happy to play both. So I don't know if anyone else is as well. Um, but regardless, we've gone through all the stats. We finished our season off. There is nothing more for us to, to to do besides wait for a season two. Now there is offers for other teams. Um, I can't access that. There we need to go to the manager's office. How do I do that? Do I have a... Uh, they haven't even given me options. Come on, boys. Management career. Here we go. Manager's offers. See, I'm a bit of a noob still. We have Chelsea, Real Madrid, and Liverpool. They're the three teams that want to sign me. Real Madrid. I mean, it's good, but the, the we don't have the licensed stadiums and a lot of the teams... I don't know. I wouldn't mind it, but Real Madrid, you just win it easily, I think, with the team they've got. Chelsea, as well, they're a bit more... Uh, of a stronger side compared to Liverpool, so we might win that league, league easily with Chelsea. Um, if I did it, I'd probably stay at Liverpool again. I think Liverpool is a nice balanced squad. But I don't know, like I said, Season 2 might not happen anyway. So, to, to uh, finish it all off, boys, thank you for a nice season. I finally won the Premier League in, <laughs> in Pez. I haven't done it with uh, Man United in my private career mode, which is pretty crazy. Um... But yeah, thank you guys for watching throughout the season. All the likes and the, the subscribers. I think we've got 500 subscribers just uh, due to this series. So a fantastic result for the channel. And I'm glad that I've got a new audience that likes to watch the videos. And uh, that are active in the comments as well. You guys have helped me a lot with Pez. I didn't know much coming into this. Um, but now I know a bit of the tactics and all that stuff for Pez, which is good. And to stop blabbering on, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this season. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. And please um, let me know if you want to see a season two. and uh, Or you want me to jump onto the FIFA side of things. That I, I don't know what to do at the moment. But like I said, nothing will be decided until January. So if you want to catch some content by me, you can go and subscribe to the main channel. A lot of content's coming up there. Um, just didn't have time to record stuff on this channel. So thank you guys for your support. Have a good holiday, New Year, whatever you'd like to call it, Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.